In this clip, we're going to learn how to pull a key with key light. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and bring in our dog footage. So I'll hit the tab key and we'll grab a read node. And we're just going to bring in that dog bad screen uh, file. That's just there in your project files um, right there in this folder here. So go ahead and open that up. And let's view it by selecting it and hitting the number one. So you can see we've got not a perfect uh, green screen here, but it's it's pretty close. And we've got this cute little dog who kind of does this bark at the beginning and then he lays down. So we want to isolate him so there's no screen around him. So I'm gonna hit tab and we'll type in key and we're going to be using the key light keyer. This is one of the most popular keyers, but there are other ones inside of Nuke as well. Um, but I like this one for what we're doing here. So I'm just going to drop that on the pipe that goes to the viewer and you can see it automatically hooks up the source pipe. If I get in there a little bit closer, you can see that. And nothing happens right away because we need to go ahead and tell it what the screen color is. So you can see it opened it right there. And all we need to do is just click this little black swatch so that we can color pick from our viewer. And you can see when I click it, we get this little eyedropper icon. Now I need to come over here and I can't just click, I need to actually control click. Now that only gives me kind of an isolated bit of color. So what I can actually do if I wanna get a larger sampling and kind of average those pixels is to hold control and shift and then I can draw kind of a bigger section. So you can see uh, kind of how that allows me to have a, maybe a little bit um, more broad spectrum of that green. Now this still isn't perfect. And if I come in and I wanna look at the alpha channel by hitting A, you can see that you know our dog ha is gonna have a little bit of transparency because we've got some dark areas there. And then obviously over here on the side. So what I need to do is create an outer mat. So let's go ahead and jump into our next clip where I'll show you how to rotoscope the subject to kind of isolate it from these other pieces.